just about seven minutes from launch, the International Space Station. Right now about 260 statute miles right over the Red Sea, crossing over Saudi Arabia. Again, at about the time of launch, the space station is scheduled to be on southern, just over southern Kazakhstan, essentially behind progress at the time of launch, but will leapfrog over progress as part of the rendezvous prio profile to meet that two orbits or just over three hours until the rendezvous to the International Space Station's Piers docking compartment. Just under six minutes from launch, the launch key, the physical key, has been inserted into the launch bunker. Transitions the launch sequence into automatic mode. Five minutes to launch, that launch key again has been inserted a minute ago, putting the launch sequence into automatic mode. Space station now currently flying 260 statue miles over Iraq. Just four minutes from launch, the next milestone will be when the fuel lines and other elements of the rocket engines are purged with nitrogen to fireproof them by removing vapors of fuel and oxidizer. Two minutes, 45 seconds to launch. At this time, the booster tank would be being pressurized for launch and optimize the, fuel f the flow of fuel and helps add to um, structural support for the rocket. International Space Station, currently flying 260 statue miles over the Caspian Sea.
1 minute 30 seconds to launch. At this point, the ground propellant feed would now have been terminated. Space Station currently flying over Turkmenistan, about to cross over Uzbekistan, and then the southern border of Kazakhstan, the position of the ISS at the time of launch. One minute to go, the Soyuz will be switching to internal power. Soyuz booster on top is the progress vehicle. There's that first umbilical tower we're tracking. Second umbilical tower. Ignition has been started. Engines throttling up. And liftoff. We have liftoff of the Progress. Progress 73 on its way in the fast lane to the International Space Station. Everything looking good so far. Those four strap on boosters providing the initial lift of the vehicle will burn for 1 minute 58 seconds. Still getting some great views on this clear day in Baikonur. Everything looking good so far during this first stage ascent. Just about 30 more seconds of this stage. At this point, the vehicle is traveling well over a thousand miles an hour. Confirmed booster separation. Now switching to animation, that core stage will burn for another 3 minutes 28 seconds. Good reports of the uh, second stage so far. This core stage again will burn until about the 4 minute 48 second mark into flight. Confirmation of launch shroud jettison, now revealing the Progress 73 underneath.
three minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Everything's still looking good. This stage will burn for a little more than one more minute. Third stage will ignite a little bit before the end of the uh, core stage is burning. A hot fire technique that will happen at the lattice structure right at that orange stripe in the middle of the rocket. Still looking good, about 30 more seconds of this core stage.